Hi, welcome to Cornerstone's newest build. We have another 26 foot Morrison. On the outside, the exterior, we have a cementous siding. It's a really pretty bronzy gray color uh, with a nice contrasting lighter gray trim. Of course, we do have another RBIA certified build, as all of ours are. So please come on inside. So we're gonna start in this really great kitchen. You, we walk into the kitchen in this one, it's an L shape, starting out with a really pretty uh, stainless steel refrigerator, a really large black sink, and then this is a brand new method that we've done. Our client challenged us to something new. So we used, um, we did this, it's a burned wood, two by six, it's all laminated together and then a clear coat finish. I think it really turned out great. So for the shelves, we used black pipe elbows. These are good, solid, sturdy shelves. This is a foot table. Goes up and down. She has a little two burner induction cooktop. Induction cooktops are really great. Um, they boil water typically 90 seconds, maybe three minutes, sometime in there. And then above, we always do a vented range hood. I think it's important in a tiny home, you always want to change the air as much as possible. And this is a part of what makes that happen. The ceiling in our kitchen, we have an exposed beam ceiling. And then a really pretty pine stained tongue and groove ceiling for the overall. All of our builds come with the LED recessed lighting. In the loft space up here, we have what I call our maximum headroom loft. We do opposing gables. That way at the sides, then you have as much headroom as possible. On the back of her half walls, up in the lofts, we did some uh, storage shelves in there as well. All of our builds, we do a mini slit heating and air conditioning system. It's a super efficient way to heat and cool your tiny home. This staircase going to this loft, it has the vinyl that we've used on the flooring. It's, it's a plank vinyl, looks like wood. So it has the vinyl on the tread, and then we have as an accent on the risers, we have this burned wood look with the accents on the sides too. I think it really turned out great. A lot of personality in those stairs. So going to the second loft, it would really eat up the whole place if we had two different staircases, so we did a ladder. This is a library ladder, it hooks onto the pipe up here, and then when it's not being used, it's stowed on the side. We've got some really great skilled craftsmen in our shop. Uh, we built this pine tiny roof door and did the same bird method that we used on her countertops. It's on a barn door hardware, matte black. It's always important to remember to store your barn doors while in transit. They don't travel well while they're installed up here. There's always something. So we're going to walk in. This is our minimal size bathroom. She's using a nature's head toilet, composting toilet. Again, we have the same burn countertop with the pretty shelves like we have in the kitchen with the black pipe supports. Her shower is the minimal shower. It's a 32 inch fiberglass shower, has corner shelves. Very adequate. The wall finish is actually the same material as the ceiling finish. It's a pine tongue and groove, but it's painted. So it gives it a little bit of contrast. It's a really nice, clean look. So please visit us at Cornerstone Tiny Homes to view any of our other builds, too. Thank you.